friends. I wanted to share today a new ink that I just received from Birmingham Pin Company, Galactic Twinkle. I ordered this ink as soon as I saw that it had been released in one of their emails, but because of all of the crazy weather and other things happening across the country, it really took a while to get here, but now it's here and I am so excited. So I thought I would show you a little bit what it looks like. Uh, I've already put it into my Twisby Eco broad nib and it is a very heavily sheening ink. I mean, you can see all that and that's just from sitting on its backside here for about a minute or two as I got everything set up. So it really does take some time to get all of that shimmer, heavy, heavy shimmer into the ink. So, so this one, you can see that the longer name is the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Apollo Program Galactic Twinkle. And I thought, huh, that's interesting. I didn't know that Pittsburgh had anything to do with the Apollo Program. So I looked it up and in just my quick, incomplete, fast research, I found that the Pittsburgh area really played quite a large part in the Apollo program, just from people who contributed to the program and also companies and corporations that provided technology, um, different parts that were needed uh, that were needed in the manufacture of all of the spacecraft, etc. It was really interesting. So I will put some links below in the description so that if you're interested in reading a little bit more about that, you can. Oh, also there was this thing called, that I just came across right now as I was doing some reading on um, on this called the Apollo Affair and I haven't read too much about it yet and I'll, I'll include a link but it was this apparent incident in 1965 which a, a US nuclear company that was based in um, the Pittsburgh suburbs of Apollo and Parks Township like they were investigated because all of a sudden, somewhere between 200 and 600 pounds of highly enriched uranium was lost. Like this, this US nuclear company lost uranium. So it, I guess it was this big thing. And I haven't done too much more reading beyond that. So I don't want to misspeak about it or anything. I'll include like the Wikipedia link, but I just thought that was so interesting, like history I had never heard about, even though I am a space fan, just stuff I hadn't heard before. I thought that was really interesting. So I've also got a coloring card because I'm very behind on all of my swatching for my inks. But look at that sheen. And I don't know if you can see it on the Q-tip, but there is a lot a lot, a lot, a lot of shimmer in that. This is so pretty. Just the base blue alone, I love it. And if you haven't noticed, I am obviously a sucker. Ooh, look at all that shimmer pulling, pulling up in the sheen. A sucker for space-related things, so. And like I've said, I have no qualms about putting crazy shimmers and sheeners into my Twisbees because I can clean them out so much more easily than other pens. Plus, I love being able to see it in the barrel. Twinkle. 
So this, it really seems to come out quite wet. Out of the pin, so that is nice. And the way my lights are set up, you can kind of see it shining off of the letters. Let's see if I can get this set up a little better. So beautiful. Birmingham Pen Company. Oops, now I'm gonna write galactic intergalactic twinkle instead of galactic twinkle. Galactic. Here is the swatch card, and you can see all through here that lighter shimmer. That was what I really saw in the email that was sent out by um, Birmingham Pen Company when this came out several weeks ago. It looked like that was really going to show up through the writing more, and so that it, like it would look. A little lighter on the page like compared to some of their other ones that they released at the same time as this one but that doesn't seem to quite be happening for me but that is okay this is I think it's absolutely beautiful and it's got all that thick sheen I mean yes I laid it down pretty thick you can see it where it kind of pooled and puddled up but and the shimmer is even throughout this drier part down here. Let's see if I lift the book up. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is a ridiculous amount of shimmer and sheen. And I love it. I know this ink is not going to be for everyone because of just, I mean, it's already like settled completely back down onto the back of the bottle, how I had it laying. It will probably clog everything up, but it's in a Twisby, so it's okay. I don't mind. I am really going to enjoy writing with this. So thank you so much for watching today and definitely check out the links I have included below to learn more about how the Apollo program really used things from around the Pittsburgh area and Pennsylvania. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.